Check out this bike. Would you call this trash? Too small. How about these jeans? Or this? Would you throw this away? Can you think of anything you could do with this? It's amazing how many things that look like trash at first are really valuable. Almost every day we throw things in the trash. And the trash ends up in the landfill. Reduce means not making waste in the first place, or using less stuff. Reuse means fixing things that are broken, or finding someone who can use things we don't want anymore. Recycle means putting bottles, cans, paper, and plastic into curbside bins, or taking them to a buyback center so they can be made into new things. Rot means taking food scraps and yard trimmings to make compost. Compost improves the soil and helps plants grow. Whether it's a broken umbrella, or a pile of old clothes. Find out what kids right here in Alameda County are doing with stuff you might think looks like trash. Look for hidden treasure. Beautiful, unusual. Look for hidden treasure. Original. Did you know that the choices you make when you shop can make the world a better place? Everyone likes to look good, and shopping for clothes can be lots of fun. But big companies spend millions of dollars on advertising to get us to buy things we don't really need. You can reduce waste by changing what you buy and where you buy it. Coach, Burberry. Look at all these brand names. I mean, every like every single person knows these brand names. Like a couple years ago, these people came to my school and they chose like a whole lot of labels, and every single person knew all of them. We all recognize these logos. You know it's true. And you know why it's true. We see ads for these products all the time. Let's check out some kids who like to shop a different way. Miranda, her sister Navara, and their friends Mari and Sophia know that they can get what they need at their favorite store, Crossroads Trading Company. It's a used clothing store, and they think it's way more fun than the regular stores. Instead of racks and racks of the same things, they find unique items that fit their own style. There's stuff here for everyone. Of course, one big reason to shop at a used clothing store is the prices. It's only $10. That's heck of cool, and it's real. You can get cool clothes that are in great condition for way little money. Yes. There are lots of top labels, but these girls get to make up their own looks, discovering new ways to put things together. This is like too much fun. You're wearing all. Oh, 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 yeah. I like that skirt. That is crazy. Oh, I like this shirt. It's more like a gold yeah. Yeah. Buying used clothing saves the natural resources and energy that are used to make new clothes. And you can keep the cycle going by selling, trading, or donating clothing you've outgrown or just don't like anymore. So you guys can bring in your items to sell. There are lots of places to buy used clothing, and everyone has their favorite place. But no matter where you go, when you buy, sell, or donate used clothing, you're reusing. So you're helping save natural resources, saving money, and having fun too. Kids come to the bike club after school and they learn how to fix bikes. All the bikes that we get are given to us for free. And they're given to us because somebody doesn't want them anymore. And maybe they would throw them in the garbage if they didn't give them to us. Sometimes they just end up on the street. So they give them to us and then the kids come and they fix them. And they have to learn how to fix all the different parts of the bike. They have to fix, fix a flat tire, take off and on the wheels, learn how to fix a chain, learn how to grease all the ball bearings inside the bike. We learn from Mario, Perry, and Maya, and like, if we need help with anything, they tell us and then we fix it ourselves. 
One of the reasons we started this shop is because we understand how important it is for young people to know how to use tools so they can fix things instead of throwing them away. And so after they learn how to fix a bike, they can fix anything. They can fix things in their house, they can fix um, things for their parents, and then they don't have to throw things away and waste them. What we find is a lot of kids who have like even just a flat tire, they'll just throw their bike away just because it has a flat tire. And it's such a valuable thing, a bicycle. Melvin is a member of the bike club. When his brother Marlon broke the chain on his bike, Melvin knew he could fix it. No problem. All right, let's go take it to bike club. Melvin has learned how to fix every part of a bike. In fact, he got the bike he rides now from the bike club when he finished taking all the classes. All the tools he needs to fix the chain are right there. After he reconnects the chain, Melvin tightens up the stem. It sure is great to have a big brother who can fix your bike for you. Melvin and Marlon ride their bikes everywhere. And today they're going to the swap shop in Berkeley to buy a basketball. The swap shop sells used sports equipment. They've got everything here. Baseball, basketball, rollerblades. And they sell it all for way less than the regular stores. We've got a lot of stuff in here that people have brought in because they don't know what else to do with it. So otherwise it would be they'd be throwing it out, taking it to the dump, and instead they bring it here and we're able to get it into the hands of other kids or people who can actually use it. It's fun to check out everything they've got at the swap shop. Maybe Marlon will be a football player one day when he gets a little bigger. But Melvin doesn't forget what he came for, a basketball. How much is this one? Three dollars. Okay. Buying used gear is a great deal for Melvin. And because he's reusing, he's helping to save natural resources which helps protect the environment. And speaking of the environment, just riding your bike instead of going somewhere in the car saves energy and reduces pollution. My idea was to teach kids all about the environment, teach them how important clean air is. But the bikes just make it more fun, because when you bike everywhere, it's always fun. Race Race Lots of us have to help out with the recycling. Every week, Flavia helps her dad carry cans, bottles, paper, and cardboard out to the recycling bin. I'll bet you do it too. But do you know what happens with all this stuff after it gets picked up? Did you ever even ask? Flavia's dad knows that the Georgia Pacific paper mill in San Leandro uses lots of recycled cardboard. And he arranged for Flavia and her cousin Miranda to get a tour of the factory from his friend Lou Harrison. So this is the raw material. It's 100% post-consumer and we use a lot of it every day. When everyone recycles paper and cardboard, it really adds up. All of these bales are recycled boxes from people's homes and from businesses. They start making paper by dumping the cardboard into a gigantic blender. They add water and stir everything together, breaking the cardboard down into individual fibers. It's sort of like making a smoothie, but you wouldn't want to drink this. They call this stuff pulp, and they spread it out on a wide belt. The water gets squeezed out and it starts to look more like paper. You can touch it as it gets pulled through the machine. At this stage, it's still really, really wet. The machine that makes the paper is very long. As the paper travels from one end to the other, it gets squeezed and heated to remove water. You can feel the paper getting hotter and drier as you get closer and closer to the end of the machine. The finished paper is rolled up onto a huge spindle, and when one spindle is full, the machine automatically switches to a new one. The paper never stops moving. This factory is making very strong paper that's used to make wallboard. That's what most of the walls in everyone's homes are made of, and the walls of school too. Two layers, three layers, four layers, five. These guys make lots of paper every day. 
And this is just one small factory making one kind of paper. Imagine how much recycled paper and cardboard all the paper factories in the country can use. Another thing that's kind of cool, these guys don't just use recycled materials, they recycle the stuff that's left over from making paper. This pile of pulp was filtered out because it contained glue and other organic materials that aren't good for making paper. Instead of throwing it away, the company trucks it out to a worm farm where it's made into compost that's used to help plants grow. What I want to get across to you students is that we have to stop throwing things away as waste or garbage thinking that the earth is one big giant garbage can. There's a possibility of using all our material and recycling into something useful. This material will eventually go into somewhere where we're building new houses. It can go any number of places, new cardboard boxes, new paper. It's almost enough to make your head spin. All the belts and wheels endlessly making rolls of paper. It all starts with realizing that when we recycle things, they can be made into new things and then used over and over. Some people say you are what you eat. I don't know about that, but I do know I like to eat. And I like to eat good food. So does Colin Russell. And he's lucky that his school has an organic gardening program. Every class has its own area of the garden where they grow vegetables and flowers that they like. A few times a week, the kids go out into the garden to take care of their plants and to learn more about how plants grow. Today, these kids get to harvest and eat the veggies they've been raising. After they pull the carrots out of the ground, they save the greens. Later, they'll put all the trimmings and food waste into the compost bin. These veggies were grown organically. That means the plants got their nutrients from compost instead of chemical fertilizers. And no poisons were used to kill weeds and insects. The results of organic gardening look pretty good, but the proof of the salad is in the eating. Okay, what do you think? Mm, it's so good. good. That's yeah, good. good. Awesome. <laughs> We're gonna put okay, back to work, everyone. It's time to put all the scraps into the compost bin. In a few months, this will be finished compost. Adding compost to soil improves soil health. Healthy soil helps grow healthy plants. It really is a cycle. Composting and gardening at school is great, but it's even better doing it at home. Colin and his family compost everything, and Colin raises veggies in his own part of the garden in the backyard. Adding compost for a few years has made the soil rich and dark. We can't all compost at home, but everyone in Alameda County has curbside green waste pickup for yard trimmings. And Colin's neighbor now has a mixed organic bin where she can put food along with green waste. Uh, sandwiches that don't get eaten. The bread that Whichever type of service you have, the organic material you put in the curbside bin is composted. Organic farmers use lots of compost. And you can get great tasting fruits and vegetables at farmers markets all around Alameda County. Wow, raspberries. It's okay, we don't need the plastic. Okay. We already have our bag. Colin's mom has brought along a canvas bag so they don't have to put the berries they buy in a plastic bag. Okay. That's another way to reduce waste. Organic fruits and vegetables depend on compost. That's cool, but it's also great to have food that looks and tastes as good as these muffins. Saving natural resources and protecting the environment is really important. But reducing waste can also be fun. We can make art with stuff that people were going to throw away. The Recreate Art Exhibit in Oakland showed works of art that were all made by kids, reusing common materials. The theme was, Waste Free, The Way to Be, What Saving Resources Means to Me. And what we try to do here is we try to bring the diversity of our class together to create a diverse project of different ideas, but definitely using recycled materials. 
bring them all together to show that we're also integrated, just like just like the quilt is integrated. He's kind of talking about um, kids wanting to play at a park, but it's too full of junk so that they can't. The world is a better place with recycling. We should recycle and save the earth. We have a really strong philosophy of each one, teach one. So we want to use this also to encourage recycling to happen at our school. That's really cool. I like that one the best. So I know. I, I think it's really incredible. Just seeing all the stuff that kids did. Just using recycled materials and like making something so beautiful is just like a statement in itself. The one over there, the the umbrella that's like being torn apart, the acid rain one. I, I think that's so good because it's like a really like shabby umbrella that's ripped and torn and yet when I see it I see it really incredible. I just found the umbrella after a storm one day at school next to a garbage can. And it was all bent up, but the fabric was still intact, so I just went through and cut it all up to make it a little more uh, trashy looking. You know, when people think of art, you know, they don't usually think of using trash or recycled materials. And if everyone, you know, gets together and starts using these recycled materials and stuff, then we can get them off the streets, and, you know, that way they're not polluting the, uh, in the environment or anything. And, you know, you can really make some great stuff with it. I think there's a lot of character when you use recycled pieces, you know, to your art, because random stuff that you see laying around, don't even give it a second thought, and you know, it turns into you know, great stuff like this. The message is, if you pollute our water, then uh, it's gonna come back to bite you in the butt through acid rain. Use it again. Use it again. Reducing waste, Use reusing and repairing Use things, again. recycling, Use and composting. Again. These are good things to do. They save our natural resources and help protect the environment we share with all living things. So before you throw something away, ask yourself, is this really trash? Reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. We can do it. Use it again. Use it again. Use it again.